So here are a few brief tips in regards to, well, question 12 on the rate of change assignment from the Rojowski uh, Calculus uh, Early Transcendentals Second Edition. This is chapter 2, section 1, question 18 from the textbook. Estimate the instantaneous rate of change of function f of x, 3, inverse tangent of x, at the point x equals pi over 2. Round your answer to, the, to three decimal places. Rate of change. So what is our instantaneous ROC rate of change? So uh, this is a calculator active question. And here's what the question is. What we want to do is we want to do a difference quotient. And so let's set up our difference quotient. We have three. And if I hit trig a couple of times or arrow over to inverse tangent, uh, um, how about I say um, x plus h minus, and then we'll just repeat that again, 3 inverse tangent of x all over the h, and um, then actually our x value, it tells us, is pi over 4. I'll give it a such that. How about such that x equals pi over 4, and there's the pi divided by 4, Control divided by, and let's say that this h is equal to, what if we just did 0.1, then we, we get um, this value, or well, what if we did it again and say 0.01, okay, um, now, here's something important, um, if I were to look in the, the doc and the settings, one reason why students would get this wrong is because they might be in degrees. For all of calculus, especially for the AP Calc exam, make sure that you are in radians. And make sure that's your default. And uh, so this is nice. How about we uh, want to see what the instantaneous is. And so we'll add a few more zeros there. And so that answer ought to be accepted. 1.855. If you're using your software, you could just give a little uh, copy, control C, and and paste it over here, control V, submit my answer, let's see how it likes it. Check, victory, mission accomplished, I'll post this and hope that's helpful for you.